Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. Appreciate you clicking on the video. Thank you for stopping by. We today are going to be talking about how to get high kills in modern warfare. And we're going to start it right now. All right, guys, welcome to the video. Appreciate you clicking on it. Uh, if you would, think about leaving a like, uh, subscribing for more, any of that YouTube junk. Appreciate it. Y'all already know what's up. Okay, um, so how to get high kills in Modern Warfare. Um, so I'm specifically going to take a specific instance so that it's a little bit easier for you guys to uh, follow or understand or get uh, get an idea of. Um, I'm, I'm specifically going to be talking about Shipment in this one. Uh, shipment is the new... I was about to say hotness. Ugh. Okay, uh, the the new map that's out there. <laughs> I've enjoyed shipment a little bit. I know at first I was saying that it was really really bad, um, but this new this newfound way of getting high kills has made me super excited to play the map. Uh, I know you're biting at the bit to understand what's going on or how to get uh, how to get it how to get your high kills. There's uh there's a couple pieces of information. So I want you to kind of grasp the entire thing uh, before you go in to try and get any of these. Uh, I, I would say, okay, so first off, you don't want to, you don't want to work on challenges when you're going for these high kill games. You want to run the meta. You don't want to be going for something specific or anything like that. That's just, if you, if you're going for challenges, you need to focus on the challenge. That's what that has to happen. Now, if you're going to go for high kills, what you need to do is you need to run kill chain. And this is specifically, this is specifically for me going on shipment to try and help you out on how to get high kills on shipment. Vacant can roughly do the same thing. It's just a little bit more difficult because the map is larger. Um, with shipment being such a close quarter map, what you're going to want to run, um, you're going to want to set up your kill streaks to be 5, 8, and 11. And you want that to be the Predator drone or the cruise missile or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the VTOL and then a chopper gunner or a gunship. A gunship is uh, 12, if you want to do 12, uh, if you like the gunship better. So, easy peasy. Uh, the, the, small, the small area of the map make those super, super effective because when enemies are spawning, you can pick which corner of the map. It's kind of like Rust back in the day. You just pinpoint that cruise missile right into the corner. You get two or three kills. And then if you're running kill chain on top of that in your class, that predator drone hitting those two or three is going to get you to that VTOL right after. Then the VTOL coming in, there is a little bit of a hairy situation with the VTOL where the, the, uh, the missiles that it shoots off when it first comes in might kill you. That could happen. It happens to the best of us. Um, it could even happen when you're in one of the quote unquote safe spaces where you're in an open container that has the three walls covering you. It's happened to me very rough. I'm not sure if my foot was hanging out the back cause I was, I was prone when I was doing it. Um, I'm not sure if my foot was hanging out the back and that's the reason that I died or what, but I definitely died inside of one of the, the three cover containers, which was really unfortunate. Um, but anyway, so then the VTOL comes in, then you should be able to get your chopper gunner or your, uh, uh gunship right after, as long as you're in kill chain. Uh, the best part about it is if you're playing a, a mode like headquarters, uh, and your VTOL is out, uh, let's say you die off of your VTOL killing you. Well, what can happen is that your VTOL will, if you're playing headquarters and you have the headquarters captured and you just called in your VTOL, when you die, uh, the after kill, the, uh, the afterlife kills that you get, uh, actually count toward your chopper gunner or your gunship. So it's very, very, uh, it's very nice. Very good. It's very, uh, happy, happy. That's weird. Um, it can be very beneficial if you're running headquarters, um, to be able to get those. Cause the afterlife metals actually count toward your streak, even though it's, it's still in the area because of the kill chain perk. Um, which is your red perk in case you've never seen where kill chain is. And basically each, each kill streak is going to add on to the other kill streak with that perk. And so that's how you get the, the predator drone to get to the VTOL to get to, uh, the gunship or the chopper gunner. So <clears throat> those are the crucial, that's the most crucial way on how this is going to happen, uh, for you, uh, is that once you get to five kills, then you can get to 11 or 12 really easily. Um, so Number two, or a tip, I don't know, that's like tip number seven, but anyway, the second thing you really want to do is the game mode that you're trying to play. Using hardcore game mode is very, very beneficial. Um, so I found in hardcore, a lot of people like to camp a lot more, which has an extended benefit if you're able to aim quickly. So what, 
the things that you're going to want to look out for are fast aiming, high mobility and fast aiming, F fast aim down sights. You want to ADS as quickly as possible um, because that'll, that'll increase your chance of actually beating people in gunfights uh, on this map. It's very fast paced. You need to be able to snap your gun into an ADS position as quickly as possible so that you can shoot. Hip firing, while it can do some good things in certain situations, will most likely kill you more times than not. So you want to ADS as quickly as possible. So make sure that you're running stuff that will let you ADS as quickly as possible. Um, as far as attachments on your gun. Then you want to use hardcore. Hardcore lets you kill enemies really, really quickly. So it makes it really, really simple. Hardcore is uh, a big part of the equation on this uh, uh, endeavor. Um, so hardcore, make sure your kill streaks are 5, 8, and 11. Uh, and make sure you're running kill chain. Those are the biggest things. Now, when it comes down to gameplay, it, you're like, well, football, what the hell? Like, I can't even get 5 kills. Like, it's impossible to get 5 kills on this map. What you want to do is you want to sit in corners, not sit in the fact of like you're literally sitting with your butt in the corner. You want to str what I call strategic camping. You want to you want to swing left and right. There's only two real passages that people can get to you if you're in one of the corners of the map. It's either going to come from your right shoulder or it's going to come from your left shoulder. Now there might be a far left shoulder if you have one of the long hallways on the sides that are straight, the straight crates that are super long. Uh, that you can see all the way from one edge of the map to the other edge of the map. Uh, when you when you have those on your left or your right, you want to swing to that side just to make sure nobody's flanking you from that position. Even though the flank is less than 90 degrees, it doesn't matter. So when you're in these corners, when you're in these positions behind the cover and, and, and such, what you want to make sure that you are doing is looking right, and then when you notice teammates are on your right, they start spawning on your right, they're over on your right, you want to swing left. I know that's really difficult for some people, but I'm telling you it's really beneficial that if your teammates are spawning on your right, that means the enemy will probably be on your left. Uh, there is the occasion that someone spawns behind you. That's really unfortunate. When you start seeing your teammates be catty corner from you, you're going to have spawns behind you. And then you want to you want to pivot on your corner to the next corner and then look back at the corner that you were at because you will be having enemies spawn behind you the whole time. So if you ever see two or three dots that are catty corner across the square map from you, you want to make sure that you start looking behind you because there will be people spawning right behind you. It's very unfortunate when that happens, but you're only going for five kills, which means that that should probably never happen in your in your instinctive mode or in your instinctive time that you're there. Um, so... Once you get your five kills, so you've been swinging right and left, swinging right and left, and you want to be moving between covers. If you ever kill one or two people, you want to move from that spot. If you ever kill somebody in this mode, they are coming back to kill you in the exact spot that you are at, especially if you're camping. If you are corner camping and you get a kill or two kills, you need to move to another camp spot or another area to get a, a, reflect, a, a new line of sight on where people are coming because they will be coming back immediately to kill you. I promise you that you need to move. Um, there is the occasion where you can string about 10 kills together from one spot, and that's just in the case of when they're spawning in front of you a million times. If not, people who, who sit in one spot and one spot alone will die, will absolutely die. So I guess that's tip number 17 on this, on this topic. Um, which I think is just really number three is you need to move after killing two or three people. Um, <clears throat> so once you get one, we're going back to what we were talking about before. Once you get your five kills and you get your predator drone or your cluster or whatever it is you want to, well, if you're in a cluster, you're going to have to actually put it on the enemy. If you're getting the predator drone, the cruise missile, I, I would advise getting that one. You can get a big blast and you get three kills immediately it, that, and you can aim it, which is really helpful. Um, so the, the cruise missile, you want to make sure that you go into one of the safe space containers, one of the ones that has the three, the three walled areas. Uh, there are three in the map. One has that, uh, uh, what uranium or the, the, uh, the hazard material. There's hazard material in one, uh, across the map from that, there's the one that, uh, has the two or three barrels in it. And then there's the one in the middle. Um, any one of those, the second that you get the predator drone, you want to get to the closest one. You want to get behind the barrels. You want to go prone. That's, that's probably the best idea that you have. Uh, get your cruise missile out. See if you can get a VTOL from there. Once you, once you get the, the predator, 
down and it kills somebody. If you need another one, stay in that container and just peek and look for one or two unsuspecting enemies so that you, cause you should be able to easily get at least one kill from that predator bone, which means that you're going to need that predator drone is going to get you one kill. You need to get at least two more. You can get one or two unsuspecting enemies from that location. Once you get those one or two and you're going to place the VTOL, you can take the chance on staying on that location if you've had to kill two people or you immediately pull it out because you did the Predator Drone with at least two or three kills and then uh, you the VTOL literally covers the entire map so it's very easy to rack up kills. Once the VTOL is down, you wait. Wherever you are, you get somewhere safe and you wait because that VTOL is going to go to work. It's going to get you probably at least 10 kills in the in the time that it's alive. Um, people, the, the map is too hard to get rocket launchers out to one, either lock on or two, the RPGs are very hard to, uh, to aim while you're getting shot. Um, and so once you do that, then you're getting your chopper gunner or your gunship. And that, that pretty much wraps up the whole deal, uh, makes it very, very simple. So recapping this entire video with all this a mantra of me talking and, and blabbing on the whole time. What you're wanting to do is you're wanting to set up your class with something comfortable that kills that you can kill easily with, uh, that has kill chain on it. Kill chain is in the red perk column. So make sure that you find kill chain. Kill chain is very essential. Then you want to make sure that your kill streaks are set to five, eight, 11 or five, eight, 12, whatever gives you a chopper gun or a gunship, whichever one you like more. Um, makes it very simple that you have the kill chain on there. So that five becomes eight becomes 11 really simple, really fast, really simple, blah, 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 blah. So once you get to that, uh, once you get to that 11 perk, you're ready to ready to kill everybody in the entire lobby. Uh, next thing you, when, when moving cover, or moving anywhere, you want to make sure that you, uh, are ADSing when you move around cover and, ever, and, uh, down the map or everything. I bet you, I didn't even talk about that in this video, but anyway, that's what you want to do. Uh, and you want to, if you can, you want to stick to corners. You want to look left and right, left and right, left and right. Uh, always, always going the opposite side of where your teammates are. If your teammates are ever across from you, slink into one of the long hallways, um, for the area and then look back to where you were, where you were. Cause enemies will be spawning right there. If, if, if your teammates are ever across the map from you. Um, anyway, I've thrown a whole bunch of information at you. Watch this 12, 13, 14 times. It'll probably be beneficial for you. Just kidding. Don't. I mean, if you want to watch it, that'd be absolutely fantastic. I'd love the watch time on my channel, but I have thrown up a whole bunch of information. Make sure that you share this video around, help your friends out. You're like, no, this is going to be my proprietary information. You know what? Help out your friends. Just kidding. I would love for you to share it. Um, hit the like button, hit a comment. If this helps you, I would be super, super happy to know that you're doing well. Um, this game, I'm just going to show you the end score of this game just to figure out how many kills I got. I'm not sure how many it was, but you can you can take it to the bank, all right? You can take everything to the bank that I'm talking about. Uh, if you want to see my 100 kill bomb, that video is up here in this card right here. Um, that it should be, I hope so, hopeful, hopeful it's right there. Um, other than that, I'm out of here. Absolutely love your beautiful faces. Actually, the card should be at the beginning of the video. I don't really care. Okay, anyway, I'm just rambling now. Thank you for staying by. Thank you for staying by. Thank you for watching this entire time. I am saying bye. Have a wonderful day. I will catch you guys in the next one. Click one of these other videos because it's probably going to be pretty cool and you're going to enjoy the heck out of it. Love your beautiful faces. I'll see you next time here on this channel. I don't know. I, I always feel like I see so many people who talk about being an alpha gamer. Like, oh, I am the alpha, almost best esports player ever. and the new Call of Duty champion, even though everybody says that. So, woo! just kidding. I don't know. Anyway, see ya. Bye-bye.